Guys, welcome back to part two of the CR500 full suspension off-road cart build. So in part one, we got the basic shape of the frame knocked out. And in this video, we'll be really building upon that, building a roll cage, mounting our engine, just seeing how everything goes and flows, and then also building up more supports and triangulating the frame. So guys, I'm super excited for that. So we're basically building an ultralight mini cross cart with lots of travel and plenty of power. But yeah, guys, thank you for the support in the comments. Let's go ahead and jump right into this build. So guys, I want to go ahead and temporarily brace up this chassis with some skinny tubing. So I'm just going to cross brace it right here and then a little bit right there. Just so that these frame rails stay at the same position. And we can just add more supports along the walls right there. So this is where I want to mount my seat. So I checked my head sits about right here and with the helmet it'll probably be like this. When building a roll hoop you want a few inches between your head and the very top. So yeah guys I'm really just thinking everything out and brainstorming. about half of the metal that we're gonna add so I mean I'd say what 30 40 pounds Guys, I bent up a test roll hoop. I'm not really liking how it looks. I think it's a bit too fat here. So this is cheap tubing and I'd rather mess up on cheap tubing than on DOM. I'm gonna have my roll hoop out of DOM. One inch 083 and there's most likely gonna be a second roll hoop just to give me that extra safety. So we're gonna go ahead and bend up another test piece and see how we like that. Okay, that is much better. So I'm leaving a few inches here for helmet clearance. Now this seat has multiple layback angles. This is 20 degrees, 35, and you can even have it at 90 degrees. I think I'm gonna have it like at 20. Hey guys, so this is the expensive tubing. We're about to see how it turned out. Bending tube is quite challenging, but I've developed a little series of techniques to help me out. That's way better than the last one. So guys, we got the roll hoop bent out and I'm really liking how that looks, but uh, just check these notches out. They took a few tries to get perfect. So we're going to go ahead and double check the measurements and then we'll tack the roll hoop on. So guys, we got the roll hoop welded and the idea is I want it to follow the curve of the seat. So for all you safety freaks out there, 
there is probably going to be an additional roll hoop or even a roll cage. I'm still not sure yet. I'm going to gusset it and brace it from the back. Now, when building like a high horsepower car, your roll bar has to be one piece from the very floor all the way to the top. So we can't afford to do that on this build because we we'll be running coolant lines through the frame so we can mount our radiator up front. Okay guys, so these four standoffs will be the suspension pivot points. The A-arms will be bolted straight to them. So yeah, let's hope these are pretty freaking straight because I already welded them in. There's going to be a tube that goes right there, so they have to be welded. So yeah guys, I just bent up some test pieces and I'm not really a fan of that. I think these bends are just too uh, wide. So guys, check this out. We actually got a dry cut chop saw to replace this old unit. This thing is a piece of crap. There's just so much deflection in the blade, it can never cut straight. Wow, this thing really cuts amazing. Now that looks much better. Well guys, that's going to be a wrap for this video. I'm really happy with the progress on this CR500 mini cross cart. So guys, check this out. We went ahead and mocked everything up, all the wheels. But yeah guys, it is looking pretty crazy. So these are 21 inches tall and then those are 19 inches tall. This thing is going to be amazing. The look is really starting to get there. But guys, we have some really aggressive stuff coming here in the front. 
Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the engine mount in this video. So I spent a lot of time just thinking things through because I want to get it right the first time and not have to redo it the second time. So I'm just really thinking everything out, making sure our chassis is stiff, strong, and light. So I'm really just working with what I have. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. Consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss the next episode. So big thanks to HTP for sending me their lineup. The welders just well phenomenal. So check them out in the description. And also thanks to Go Power Sports for sending me the parts that I need for this build. But I'll have to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned and peace.